This video is on how to create a C chart in Quantum Excel. Before you can create a C chart, you need to make sure that Quantum Excel is running. You can tell that Quantum Excel is running if you see QXL Monte Carlo, QXL Stat Tools, and QXL DOE in the ribbon. If you don't see those, then you need to start Quantum Excel just like you would any other application. As a setup, I have the data for this chart in column A. The data is the number of defects per lot. Since a C chart is a count chart, this is simply a count of the number of defects per lot. When I click on column A, I then select the data because the only thing in column A is the data for the C chart. I could just select the data by clicking on column A. However, if there were other data in column A, I could also just click and drag and select the section of column A that I want to use to create the C chart. When ready, click on QXL stat tools, followed by control charts, and then click on C chart. When I click on C chart, Quantum Excel will ask me the data range. In this case, the data range is cells A1 through A22, which is the data range that I selected. If I had not pre-selected the data, I could now. Optionally, I can include an x-axis range. In this case, I don't have an x-axis range, so I will leave it blank. I can also click on Next to change the settings for the C chart, or just press Finish to create the C chart. When you press Finish, Quantum Excel makes the C chart for you. Every one of these blue dots on the chart represents the count from the data that you selected. The horizontal red line at the top is the upper control limit, and the horizontal line at the bottom is the lower control limit. The numerical values for the upper and lower control limit are depicted in the upper left-hand corner. Additionally, all the points that are out of control will be colored red. So for example, this point is colored red. It is clearly above the upper control limit, and therefore it is out of control. If I do not wish to see the points colored red as out of control, I can unclick this checkbox, in which case now this point is no longer red. And that is how you create a C chart in Quantum Excel.